friends, this is Sherry Ramirez uh, from Sherry's Coloring and Painting Corner. I have a little review I'd like to do of the Castle Arts. So I have selected some pencils at random to swatch on my business card. Well, they're my swatch cards. And this is like uh, heavy cardstock type paper. So you could see how it would lay. Uh, it's kind of similar to this kind of paper, like from this kind of book, for example. This business paper is kind of like this sort of paper. Um, so that'll give you an idea. I also have a some uh, drawing paper. It's about 60 pounds. And this is from Teacup Kitties which is, by the way, a totally adorable book. And this is uh, Strathmore Drawing Paper, which is getting really hard to find on my ad. <sighs> One more thing I have to thank COVID for. Uh, but anyway, you just punch a hole in them. And ta-da! And I have a whole thing of them like that. I have several that I've done this way. And it makes it very easy to find my pencils, uh, car, you know, cards. I can't put these in that thing because they're too small. But either way, these are the uh, swatches that I did. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see, hopefully. This is my swatch book. Uh, it's, I need to put something in the cover here. I'm not sure what, maybe like one of my nicer pieces of artwork, perhaps. Uh, I think it's really cute. Uh, it could be a nice place to put something cute. But either way, this is where I put all my, like, my Derwin. And I have cut my car and Dodge Pablos. Um, this is the Castle Arts. My Polychromos, which I'm working on that. See, so this is just an idea going a little off topic. I had to make this one up, so I apologize for the horrendous writing, but um, I could not find a, a, a typed in template for this. So I just kind of found a blank one from uh, Belinda from Coloring with Faithful Girl. Uh, she has a blank, a blank one up for her patrons, as long as with a lot of other ones uh, that are filled in. So, but yeah, this is something I highly recommend that you do. It's very well worth it. Um, it is a time saver because, as I'm going to demonstrate, what you see is not always what you get uh, in terms of, like, the uh, what's on the barrel. If it is even capped, the prismas aren't even capped. And what you see in the lead sometimes, are t and what you actually get in terms of the color, it is two totally different things. Let me see get this down here so you can see there we go it's not always they're not always the same thing so that's that um, before I swatch the colors I do want to show you a couple of different ways that they come first of all this is I me mean, whoops sorry hold on let me back up here and see there we go this is the Castle Arts zip pouch. Now, I got this uh, because I was fixing to go on a trip and my daughter was getting married. And I wanted to be able to take some pencils with me and not, you know, freak out about having to get a case for this comes in this little zip case. Just like that. I mean, how cool is that? It's just, I didn't even have to get an extra case. Now, as you can see, these pencils have been well loved. <laughs> um, they do go kind of fast. Um, like the Faber Polys last a lot longer. Um, but considering that they, I'm going to get my paper here because I took some notes. In the UK, it says that a 72 set is 21, roughly 22 pounds for the zip pouch set. And I believe that's the 72 piece. 
the 42 in the large tin, which is uh, the 120 piece set, which is the, uh, the largest set that it comes in, which is this. Woo, sorry, you cannot see at all there. And that is really loud. Hold on, let me turn that down, jeez. All right, anyway. This is the largest set that it comes in. Um, and you can see on the tin, they have a swatch of all the colors. And I love this beautiful castle. It's gorgeous, right? Um, this For this, it is about roughly 43 pounds in England. Um, in America, uh, at least I went on to Amazon because that's typically what I, Amazon or Blick, Cheap Joe's. Sometimes Cheap Joe's isn't always cheaper, but Blick, um, if you order over 50, I think you, it, shipping is free. Uh, for In the USA, it's roughly for this, this full size tin that I showed you, it's roughly $55 and for the zip pouch like this, it's roughly 60 and, I, and I'm telling you it's worth it. Um, it's totally worth it. These pencils are kind of unique a little bit and as you can see I, I I picked out some pencils. That's why some of them are missing this, um, Because I've either used up the pencil and I have to grab it from the full set That I still have over here or um, I'm out for demonstration purposes. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> it's, so, you know, there's that. Um, let me set this aside. Yeah. Somewhere's, I don't know. Set it there. Okay, that'll work. So, as you can tell, it comes in some really beautiful colors. I'm going to zoom back in so you can see my, see the colors pretty good. I don't want to get too close. There we go. Uh, it comes in a pretty decent selection of yellows. Um, the oranges are a little limited, but it has a nice, nice range of like uh, skin tone colors. Um, it has a good selection of uh, purples. A s somewhat of a sorry, that just was getting so loud. I'm sorry. Um, it has a decent selection of reds. Not excessive but I would say the yellows the pinks and purples especially the pinks and the blues and the greens the, the I would say the pinks blues and greens are probably what they have the most of um, that's my opinion from you know swatching them um, and then on this side making sure you can see uh, it has a, a, um, a reasonable selection of like, a, you know, like the sepia, raw umber, you know, walnut down brown type things. It's very limited in the grays. So if you're like one of those people that like, you know, 30% French gray or 50% warm gray, you know, that fancy stuff, this is not the set for you. Um, I personally find this adequate. I, I have not learned how to use grays fully yet. I, I am still well, well into the learning curve for that. Um, it, it, it can make a break, you know, uh, a picture. If the grays and the colors you would not expect to use on certain things. But either way, that's this. So I'm going to get, to, I'm going to set this aside. And I'm telling you, this this thing I got, I might have to get a new one. It's it probably weighs about three to four pounds. It's crazy. Uh, I love it though. It's it's if you're not if you hate, if you're like me and you hate swatching, and trust me, I do. It is so worth it because you, like I said earlier, what you see is not always what you get. Um. It can look like one thing on the lead in the cap and lay down to something entirely different looking. So I'm going to make sure that I have this um, zoomed in enough so that you guys can see. All right. Hold on a second. There we go. 
I gotta adjust this. Bear with me, people. Just bear with me a second so I can make sure that you guys can see. I gotta adjust something on my little stand. Okay, I think we've got this settled here. All right, because it's really important, obviously, that you see what I'm doing. So, first of all, oh, and one other thing, these rings, I ordered a set of different size rings, this being the, oh, whoo, sorry, off camera, this being the largest one, um, down to one that's maybe like this small, and it was, I don't know, 15 bucks tops. So if you have a small set and say it's only a 12 piece set, it would, that would be perfect. If you have a larger set, like the Brute, Brute for Nurse, <gasps> wow, that's so hard. It's like a 180 piece set, which includes these amazing metallics. Please see previous video. Um, I did two, it did it in two parts because I was having editing issues. Um, the metallics are really cool. At any rate, um, let's see if I can find my her umber. And this little thing I also got on Amazon. Really great. Um, let's see if I can find my her umber. Yep, no, that's Burt Sienna. Well, okay, maybe I should take these out. It might take me a minute to find this. Let's see, where are you? It's playing hide and seek, isn't it? Well, how about this? I'm just going to look through and just go with what I find. Make sure you guys can, I think I'm zoomed in too much. There we go. All right. Oh, it's going to take me too long to find stuff. No, it's not okay. All right. There's the cinnamon. All right. We're in business. Sorry, peeps. <laughs> All right. I hope you bear with me. All right, so making sure that we can all see good. I want to make sure it's in. Hold on a second. I'm sorry, peeps. I just want to make sure you're. It's in. It's in focus. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. I just wanted to make sure you guys could see. Hmm. All right. There we go. I should be good. All right. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. I know we all have... Sometimes I, I think our, our attention spans are not what they used to be. You know, people are just used to instant this and instant that and... I don't know. My day things were different. You know what? I am going to do something here because my desk is being difficult. I highly recommend one of these, by the way. Now, making sure that you can still see. Okay. Oh, that's so Anyway, I have a tip too for you guys. Um, if you do videos, go look up Creative Commons music. All you have to do is list the person that did it. Um, they, you know, they usually will ask that you list their name and the the name of the piece. And like a link in the description and as long as you do that it this this is all like free music that you can put as a background it's really really uh, really nice so do do we might not do all of these pencils just for purposes of time but I know this is a common color, and I'm going to stick it over here so I can tell that I used it. Now, I will show you one of the ways that I blend. Sometimes I use what I call as a, like a blending pen. 
not a pencil, pen. And I will take that and just, you gotta make sure though that you go easy on it and you clean your tip off and don't push really hard on the brush part or you will, as I have done several times before I learned my lesson, wreck it. <laughs> And this will push the, the uh, pigment around. And that's another thing I want to say about these pencils. They lay down, for a budget pencil, they lay down really nicely. They lay down like a, if you're familiar at all with Shapiro Farbens, they lay down a lot like those. Uh, and those I think are considered oil-based pencils. But they're soft. They're they're not super soft. They're they're well. They're like Shapiro Farbens. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um, they lay down kind of soft. Um, and this is I would suggest too if you're gonna have one of these pencils that you have like a tissue where you can just kind of, you know, clean it off with. Um, they're soft, but they're not super soft. So if you want a pencil that is in the middle of the road that will lay down on almost anything, the pigments are fairly, fairly rich for a budget, budget pencil. Um, let's see which one I can find again. Okay, let's put that one aside. And we have, if it's going to sit still on me. Here we go. That was quick. Ah, okay, so making sure you guys can see. Okay. This is Bengal Rose Deep. And as you can see, the pencils, um, I gotta back this up a little, you guys, it's too close, sorry. The they're nicely capped, and I apologize, I cannot. I don't know if I can get my camera to capture the, the, um, cause it's very, very shiny. Let's see. There we go. Almost, almost. There we go. Bullseye. And so that's what it looks like on the end. Uh, they're thin, very lightweight, not super heavy, which, you know, if you have issues with your, like RA, as I do. Um, that's going to be a nice, they're, they're fairly small in the hand. I think I'm not going to end up doing this many of these. It's just going to take too much time and I don't want you guys to get bored. So... I might just do a few of these, especially since you've seen the whole swatch chart that I did. I think I'm just going to do a couple of these. If I go quiet, it's just because I'm concentrating. And make sure I don't use too heavy a hand because sometimes I still sort of forget. Now, having done that, I'm going to show you another way that I blend. Ugh. Oh, and by the way, or for my my swatch card, this is one of the things that I used to make the um, squares with. It is an architect's, like a drafting kind of thing, and I used this square right here. But as you can see, it's got all kinds. It's got a little ruler on the end right here. It's pretty cool. So I just let that throw that out for, you know, FYI. Um, this is called Gamsol. Uh, 
it's uh, like an odorless mineral spirits and I have lung issues and sensitivities and it doesn't bother me so if you have those issues I think as long as you're not like sticking your sticking it in your nose and you know sniffing it like you know what I mean you should be fine and one other thing to make sure you close the lid because it will cause the liquid to evaporate a little bit faster but if you were making sure you could see okay do 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 okay good I'm always trying to be cosmic cosmic pin I, words are hard uh, thought mindful of you know that you my friends here can see what I'm doing because that's kind of the whole point of it you know if you can't see what I'm doing, well, that's kind of a problem. Now, as you can hopefully see here, there, you can see where it picked up the pigment. And I also got some outside the line, but that's okay. Isn't that a pretty color? I mean, look how vibrant that is. Now, when that dries, that will dry a little bit differently than it looks when it's wet. And you can see the back side of it. Um, that will dry clear. That that won't stay like that. That will dry and evaporate, and it'll be gone. So I'll, I'll, when, that's, when I see that that's dry, I will pick that back up, and I will show you um, what that looks like. But, yeah, always close the lid. <laughs> always. All right, let's see. Let's try. To do. Let's try the. Uh, I'm looking for that darn burnt umber. I got burnt sienna. Well, crud. There it is. Yay! Whoop whoop. All right, here we go. Ta da! All right. Probably one of the last ones. I may do one more. I don't want the video to run too long. Um, I tend to do that, you know. I just, I, I guess I have a lot to say. And I'd like to think that most of it is noteworthy. But I know that everybody's time is valuable. Even during COVID, you know, we all have things that keep us busy and I have got a rhythm going here. How about that? Look at that. Aren't I just keeping it fresh here? Ah, sorry. Nosy itchy. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a great, this is a great color for if you are doing skin. This is a great skin color. I love this color. Like I said, this is good for shadows, um, and that sort of thing. Or if you have, or if you're doing a really dark skin tone. <sighs> turn my heater down. Okay. Now another way you can blend. Uh, trying to find a plain Q-tip. I have two types of of uh, Q-tips, by the way. These are like considered makeup for makeup you can get them in Walmart uh, I got these on Amazon and then you have your regular these are great for when you're doing details woo sorry woo, woo. <laughs> so you can just use the q-tip by itself Um, I don't, I used to do that a lot and I don't do it as much as I used to because it doesn't really give you a smooth a, a blend. 
Um, but the other way that I do like to do, um, pardon me while I sharpen this. Watch your ears. Sorry. That is my F mat. Uh, sharpener and I'm telling you that is an amazing sharpener I will try to put a link to an Amazon link to it in my description it's an amazing sharpener and I will also um, try to find find them in Amazon um, and you can all like I said you can find these at other places um, Blix I, I know um, uh, there's a place over in UK I think it's called Art Gear or uh, uh, Cult pens, I think, has a lot of that type of stuff. I'm not. I'm from the United States, but I know those are popular um, sites in in uh, the UK. I don't know about Australia. I would have to ask some of my uh, fellow um, colorist artists. This is a um, Prisma Premier Blender pencil. You can get a pack of them for maybe fifteen to seventeen dollars. A pack of twelve. I love these so much better than the Karandash ones. Um, they don't lay down as they're scratchy. Yes, they are scratchy. So if that is a sign that annoys you, then this might not be for you. It does not bother me one bit, and I like the fact that it blends it out. But as long as I'm not too heavy-handed with it, it doesn't do it and deposit like a bunch of wax on the paper so that if I want to go back into it and maybe put another layer or two on it I can do so um, and honestly the Karandash blender pencils are very hard on my hands because you have to push kind of hard with them and they're they just really um, my hands as you can see are already a little swollen they get very swollen and painful and uh, sometimes I have to wear gloves you know compression gloves you know and I just can't uh, I'm just not a fan anymore of them to be honest um, so that's what this looks like with the burnt umber it's pretty nice and the the blender the blending is pretty decent uh, for for these uh, blender pencils. I like them. But my favorite hands done is the, the gam. So you just have to be careful what's on the other side. Like if you're in a coloring book and you've colored say one side of it and you're coloring the opposite side and you use the blender, you gotta be careful. But you, you know, you might cause an issue. My kitty is, she's already been fed, I swear. You wouldn't know it looking at her though. You would think she was totally starving, but no, she's she's not. Yeah, trust me, she is fluffy. <laughs> I absolutely love and adore this color. Love, love, love this color. It's called cherry pink. Love this color. I'll see if I can get my camera to focus on it. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Ah, come on. It's like a game. There we go. Boom. All right. This is probably the last one I'm going to do. But I love this color so much. I just, I have to show you. And then we're going to move on to a couple of things to demonstrate with the, in regards to these pencils. If I could show you my fluffy kitty, I would. She is fat. <laughs> but you know what? I'm a little fluffy too, so it's all good. It is what it is. <laughs> I absolutely adore this color. Like, I... This is truly a, a pretty close to being a cherry pink. I would say the cherry pink might be a little bit lighter. It's more more akin to the uh, what's at the bottom. I haven't blended this out, but as you can see, the bottom part of the swatch. Whoa, sorry, this is my hands are shaking. Um, the bottom part is actually more what uh, cherry um, cherry blossoms look like. But yeah, isn't that pretty? Uh, I absolutely 
adore this color. It is probably my favorite color, one of my favorite colors. Now, I'm gonna show you something. You see how this is almost dried up and you can, you can barely see it now? Now, if you go to the front, you see how it's kind of changed color a little bit? It's a little bit brighter. Um, aren't these gray colors? Look at They're pretty nice. So, I think I'm not going to do the rest of these because I think it just would take too much time. But I should do one green, I suppose. But instead of doing it in uh, um, one of these... I think I'm going to just pick up a, I'm going to show you what these lay down on drawing paper like. So this is, like I said, this is from Teacup Kitties. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. It's so cute. So freaking cute. I, it's so cute. There's just no words. And I highly, I highly suggest you get one of these. They're great. All right, let's put that aside for now. All right, so I'm gonna do this down so you guys can see a little bit, hopefully. Ta-da! Okay, now, let's see. What can we do here? I think I'm gonna pull my small set out. The big tin, that's another reason why I either get one that's in a zippered pouch like like this is. Or um or a pencil case. Because when most pencils come in these trays, um, uh, and it's just a pain having to pull up one tray, look for a pull, you know, it's just, it gets really old rather than just flipping, you know, something to find it. So let's do a butterfly. I think I need a white. No, I don't need a white. I'm going to grab a different color. This is Opera Rose. Ta da! Isn't that cute? I think I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Woo! Sorry about that. Oh. Sorry about that. That probably looked rough. I apologize. Please, please accept my humble apologies for that. <sighs> I'm still learning. So, uh, I'm going to... I sometimes have vision issues, so if you have glasses, these will help you see. Without using a magnifier of sorts, like, you know, that get, would get in the way. So... And while you're coloring, I know it's hard, but try to hold the pencil a little, f not, don't, try not to hold it like right here. A, that's stressful on your hand, and B, uh, you know, it's just hard, so. Oh my gosh, I apologize for that. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. I had to uh, stop it because where I live, there's a certain thing that goes on, and it, it's trust me, it's totally distracting. So make sure you guys can see. Yeah, you can see. And hopefully, my hand isn't in the way. But color, color. If you have to hold it here, just try to really think about. How am I gripping it really hard? Because A, you're going to make your hand hurt, and B, you're going to end up with streak marks. These kind of, they're waxed-based pencil. However, they lay down kind of like a, a cross between a wax and an oil. Like, I think they, I really think that they have a little bit of both. I mean, technically speaking, they are labeled a 
a wax, but if you color too heavy handed with them, you will get um, streak marks like you would with an oil based pencil. Um, so just, you know, be mindful of how you're gripping the pencil. And sometimes you really do have to hold it near the tip. Just think, do, do like a, a mental check. Am I, how hard am I gripping this? And it will enable you to a not wear your hand out so fast and you will the the pigment will lay down so much nicer so there's that and that was opera rose now i'm going to pull out let's see let's see i'm looking for one of my pencils here do, do. Let's see cherry pink. Let's go back to the cherry pink. Oh, that's not sharp enough. And I really don't want to for you to have to listen to oh, that sharpener again. It's pretty loud. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear it again. <laughs> so, these are really great sharpeners. Just throwing that out there. The, they're different sizes for length of lead that you want, tip that you want. These are really great. See, that's a pretty good point. So, and it's a lot quieter. And I am holding it near the tip, but I'm also being very mindful of how how hard I'm gripping it. I know it's hard, believe me. I was one of the worst. That's why I used to use markers a lot um, because I would hold my pencils so tightly. And it took me a long time to get to where I could hold them at the end the end like this and not have a death grip on it. Now if you want some shading, you can take this cherry paint, excuse me, my nose is just, and bring it up to the top a little bit. Look how nicely those blend together. Isn't that pretty? And I'm using a very light hand, light pressure, just barely touching my pencil to the paper. Now, what you can do is take your um, sharpener and I'm going to run this over very lightly I know I'm holding it near the tip, but I'm not using hardly any pressure and I'm just doing little light circles. Tight little mini circles, basically. That's another thing. Sometimes these do break a little, so that's another reason to use light pressure. I don't have to use such a heavy hand with these as I do the, the cron dash. So, yeah. And the cron dash blenders are just, they're not for everyone. I used to sort of like them, but I don't know. Now I'm finding that I honestly like these a lot better. There. Isn't that pretty? Now, if you want to really get fancy, you could take buddy, um, hold up a second, and I have these. They are by um, Uni. Let's see. Hold on a second. Signo Uni Ball. Yeah, these are fantastic gel pens. Absolutely fantastic. And I 
think I'm going to use some silver. My hands are getting tired, so they're shaking a bit. So I, I apologize. I got to make sure that it's working. Okay, test the test. I should test out one of the greens on the body, I think. It will write over almost anything. You could see it's it's going very easily over uh, the uh, pencil area with no trouble whatsoever. I mean... So, let's see. Let's find my green. I know I've got a green in here somewhere. Let's try this. This is, Fa oh, I'm sorry. My bad. This is phalo, oh, oh, here we go. Phalo green light. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, friends. And I'm just going to kind of fill this in a little bit quickly. Now, that's phyllo green light, and then I'm going to take this, which, do do do, castle green, and I'm going to sharpen it before I do anything else. That never happened. And I'm going to add a little bit. I don't know if you guys can even see this. I'm not sure you can, to be honest. Um, yeah. There. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see, hopefully. Isn't that pretty? Nothing major, but there it is. So... Now, that's how go how they lay down on 60 pound drawing paper, Strathmore. Great stuff, I'm just saying. Now, I'm going to pull this out really quickly. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hold on, I gotta pull this out of my way. This is, uh, hold on a minute. Arr. I have yet to uh, really color in this book. <laughs> Kirby Roseanne. Oh, you guys are going to get to see my first. I want you to see, and I'm going to see for the first time how um, how these lay down in this book. So first of all, I think I'm going to put in a little white. I know you won't see it, but... I, little tiny circles, light pressure. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's a little too. Whoops. Back up. There we go. I'm um, going to get this figured out. There we go. All right. I'm going to just do like this top part of her top. And I'm doing, I'm using the white. And I'm just doing like a really light. You can also use um, General's chalk. Is It will work. Or you can just use a white pencil. I know a lot of people say, oh, the white Holbein's or the white Prismas. I think any medium to soft white pencil will do, honestly. I do have a, um, a white Prisma. But um, the other thing that you can use... And I wouldn't recommend a white uh, polychromo, so they're too hard. Um, I'm looking for something to show you. Uh, here it is. The other thing you can use is this. I, I have a thing that I can sharpen it on. Um, this is also great for laying down highlights. And I would say this lays down pretty nicely. This is like, you can hear, you can see too how heavy that is. You can just hear it. I'm just laying down a little 
little little white just for a highlight. Okay. Now I think I'm going to make her dress. I'm going on the fly here. Some sort of like a soft green. So I think, and I haven't shown you any greens. So this is emerald green. Now this is an example of what you see is not always what you get. This is an excellent, excellent pencil to show you. You see how it looks here, right? It's pretty light. Okay. Watch how this lays down. I make myself situated here. Now, granted, I have a white pencil underneath of this. So, actually, what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like without the white pencil, okay? This is just copy paper that I'm using right here. So you can see what it looks like without the white. Isn't that beautiful? You see how nicely that lays down? It's nice, huh? And I mean, they're, they're really, they're not budget busters. Their customer service is also really good. Little... This is how you should try to hold your pencil if you can. If you have to hold it here, just really think about what you're doing. But if you can hold it here or further, um, I recommend that. And just tiny little circles or flicks. Um, you can also cross hatch, which is going, I'll, I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna, cause I don't wanna do flicks and circles in the same spot. It would look really weird. Don't, don't do that. It, I've done it and it looks weird. It doesn't come out good. Just personal experience. Oh, this is laying down very nicely on this heavy uh, cardstock. Very nice. Now, over here in this spot, I will show you uh, cross hatching. Good, you can see I just I'm making sure you kind of and I it looks like I'm going back and forth and I'm not I'm only coloring one direction it's just that I'm moving the pencil so fast that it looks like I'm coloring in both directions and I'm not never do that that's like something children do you always color in one direction um, never color back and forth Now, what you do to do a cross hatch, and I, forgive me, I gotta turn my page a little bit. Can you see? Okay, good. You take your pencil and you go the other direction. See, I was going this way, so now I'm gonna go this way. And lightly, very lightly. Now, this is kind of the difference between circles and cross hatches. Oops, hopefully you can see crud. There you go. There's not a big difference, but you can, I'm trying to get as close as you can. You can see that the circles are a little darker, but yeah, that's, this is beautiful. This is like, these are laying down really nice. Now I'm doing it different up here because I haven't colored up in that part so I can kind of change my style of coloring. But never like circle and then cross hatch in the same exact spot. It, it looks terrible. I've done it and I regret it. <laughs> Little tiny circles or flicks are, are like the best thing you can do. And I'm doing this page, part of this page in honor of February. Um, if you don't know what that was about, that was this past weekend. Uh, it was a colorathon. It was great. Uh, lots of cool drawings and uh, fun times. It was awesome on YouTube. Okay, so 
now I'm going to get a grab a different green and I'm gonna do some flicks. I'll show you what flicks look like. I know I'm digressing a little. This is mint green. And I'm going to make sure you can still see. Hold up a second. Ugh. All right. I want to make sure my hand's not getting in the way. There we go. All right, cool. This is Flix. Oh. Yeah, you can see, hopefully, good. This is Flix. You just start at one spot and you just flick down with it. And you pick the pencil up at the end of your stroke. You just color down and pick it up. Color down and pick it up. Or you can color up. Doesn't matter. Just never go back and forth. <laughs> Don't ever do that. It's It looks terrible. That's what flicking looks like. And as you can see, it produces a darker um, color. Of course, I also have a slightly darker color too, but it, it does produce different results. And also rotate your pencil. Uh, especially the softer pencils like the Holbein's. Uh, these ones you don't need to as much. They're not as soft as that. They are soft. Make no mistake about it. But they are just a little bit harder that it's not as necessary. But you really want to about every 10 strokes just rotate. Just pick it up and rotate it a little bit. It will ensure that you have a a nice even point all the way around. And I think I'm kind of about done with that. And I think I'm going to pull out my green and I'm going to blend it in with some little circles. Ooh, those two look good together. Just FYI, if you decide to get um, these these two lay down very nicely together, they play nicely together. Because I'm I'm taking this and I'm sort of light circling it into the um, the thing. And normally, normally this doesn't look good, but I would say in this case. The little circles over the flicks is actually working because I'm doing it really lightly. I mean, really lightly. We're talking, I'm barely touching to the paper. So, yeah. Normally, I would say don't ever do that. But in this case, if you're going to use a super light touch and do the flicks first, Wow, that plays very nicely together. How about that? I like it. What do you guys think? Pretty good, right? Not bad. So anyway, that that is my uh, demonstration of how it is on different papers, different ways that it looks when it's blended. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up. And hit the bell for all notifications when I decide to upload more things. I hope you all have a blessed one. Stay safe, my friends, and color on.